I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite podcast on the Citadel. Welcome to Andromeda Nerds, the number one Mass Effect podcast on the internet. In the world. My name is Minius of Minius GC, and with me are my co hosts, Tucker from Mass Effect Follower. Hey, guys. Hey. Exciting. Hey, everyone. There you go. That was us, dear. The one and only Biofan. Hello. How's it going? And joining us as a guest host this week, Carlin from Hot Not Meh. How's it going, everyone? Carlin, uh, you're new to the show. Why don't you fill everybody in on who you are and what you do on the internet? <sighs> new phone, who dis? What do I do? I basically nerd out over Mass Effect and rant about what I don't like about the video game industry. <laughs> that sounds a lot like what we you, do. You rant about video yes. games on the internet? Yes. <clears throat> Holy what? shit. Yes. I, I know, I know. It's not that common. <laughs> it's a ver- it's a rarity. <laughs> I know, believe me. It's a very niche subject on YouTube especially, but still. <laughs> so you can have an incredibly calm, rational conversation about, like, you know, video games on the internet and ranting blows it out of the water. Exactly. It's like not even worth having a conversation about it, which we're going to try <laughs> to do and fail in just a little bit. Uh, Ability Drain may or may not join us. Uh, she is currently at the cabin in the middle of the uh, the island in the sea and can't get the internet working. Ow. Oh, uh, but she will. You make it sound like she's on a tropical vacation. <laughs> well, maybe she is. Uh, she will be joining us, though, at the end when we're finally going to play the T-shirt segment that we recorded a couple weeks ago. And, uh, boy, yeah, we gave away T-shirts. And you wrote in jokes. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> All right. Fun stuff. That'll be at the end, so stick around for that. Uh, Andromenerds usually post every Monday unless something really bad happens, which has happened the last two weeks. Uh, we're going to have to shorten these episodes a little bit because uh, – well, the technology that we have isn't good enough to render this. So, Biofan, talk about your rendering process for last week's show. So, last week I think was our longest episode ever. It wasn't actually. And it was. It was. It, it was. Yeah, it was close. It was like within a couple minutes. So it was our second longest episode ever, but it had more things in it in terms of files. So it took, let's see, 15 hours per render, and then the first, and for those that don't know, like when you make a video, you then render it, so it turns into a video. Um, so then the first render took 15 hours, and then for some reason it glitched at the end and then didn't actually turn into a video, and then the second render rendered, but then without any volume for some reason, so there was no audio, so sure. I figured that would not be an entertaining podcast to upload. Be funny. And then <laughs> the third one finally worked. So at least what you, it was like the first two were 15 each and the third one was at least three hours, right? Well, yeah. So that's like 33 hours yeah, of that rendering your time. your computer yeah. was shut down. So uh, we, when normally it takes about between six to eight for our usual episodes. So there's a chance you're doing things too fancy, which I absolutely do on the audio si- side. Uh, but uh-huh. whatever, we're going to cut these things down. So you don't break your computer because that would suck. <laughs> yeah, my computer is kind of kind of necessary for doing the whole YouTube's thing. Especially if Robin <laughs> breaks his computer. Like, okay, that's great. Uh, but so we're gonna be a little bit shorter. We'll get to questions a little bit at the end. But if you want to contribute to the show with a question or topic suggestion, you can email us at andromenerds at gmail dot com. But uh, something happened today. We're recording on Friday uh, that got Biofan all excited. So we're gonna start there. What's okay? So, so. On the EA Access website, it says, quote, Additionally, members will be able to experience 10 hours of the next chapter in the epic space opera, Mass Effect TM Andromeda, before its release with the EA Access Play First Trial beginning on March 16th, 2017. So you'll be able to play 10 hours of Mass Effect Andromeda on March 16th with EA Access on the Xbox One. Whew. Now, so is there a limit? Like, is it like you can only, though, play up to this point? 
Well, so in Dragon Age Inquisition's EA Access, they gave you, I think it was like five or six hours, but you could, there was, I'm, I'm going to call it a progression lock. There was a progression lock where you couldn't progress past the hinterland. Oh, so it's nice to know that so you I can played play the, the demo. game. You could play, you could play, yeah, you could play all of the character creator, all of the prologue, and then you can get into the hinterlands, but you couldn't go to like Val Royale. For example, so you could go go like back to Haven, back to the Netherlands and stuff for five hour, five or six hours, but you couldn't progress through the story very far. Here's something that so, ought to be talked about. What is EA Access? <laughs> EA Access is a program where you pay five dollars a month and you get to play games early. I think that's pretty that's that's good enough description. Yeah, and then there's some other things. Yeah, but you do get that five dollars off the game. I think no, is it? I forget. Uh, There's some kind of discount involved or something, but it it it, it 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 it's basically EA getting money for something. Yeah. Yeah. So um, go ahead and be positive for a little bit if you want to. <laughs> well, I guess the positive side of this, uh, ne- not necessarily my opinion, but you get to play ten hours of Mass Effect Andromeda before it's released. I also think that sucks. And I think yeah, that's I also awesome. kind of think look that at how sucks me cutting well. you off already. I'm like, go ahead and be positive. No, fuck you. It's Stop. Awesome. I kind of Stop. agree fuck with you. you. This like, sucks. It's right, ten Tucker. hours. It's ridiculous. Tucker, go first, then. <laughs> dude, I like that. I think that's pretty. Do for please. Well, I here, think here's that's... the thing that that I, you don't have to be upset about this because you don't have to play it. I kind of Got... do because I do a, a YouTube channel on Mass Effect. And I yeah, hate, it's kind of our jobs to I you know. I hate breaking up games like that. I hate it. I do not want to play ten hours of a game and then have to wait and then play the rest of it. <laughs> that sucks. I'm right there with you. On a side note, <laughs> that, that, that is, just really sucks. On a side note, that should be cut out of the game uh, thing. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to get my dog out of the room, but every time I got my face close to the mic, he just licked me. So prepare to get rid of that, Minius. <laughs> I'm not cutting it out. I'm leaving it in, including so you, your description. You still have licks. Yep. <laughs> And I even um, put a picture in the so, chat. The dog will not get out. Get so anyway, it, the sixteenth is a Thursday, and then it's the next. It's the Tuesday after so that thir- that the game releases. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and all Monday for mm-hmm. ten hours, and then the game comes out. So I yep. mean, to, to be fair, for most people, uh, this isn't going to affect you at all, except for the fact that ten hours is enough to have spoilers online. Which sucks. Yeah, that's true. Is my, <laughs> my kind of concern. Okay, is that exactly. okay. Here's the a... thing about spoilers. I don't understand when people like because how what we do, we make YouTube videos. When they're like, "Oh, I don't want to see spoilers, things like that." I think with what we do, we don't have a choice. We have to have the game spoiled for ourselves so we can stop the spoilers happening to those that are in our community, like going through comments and deleting those. And Oh, yeah, we just have to, we have yeah, to be in the know about everything, yeah, that's, so we have to be spoiled. That's not going to bother me. I'd love to get a, a early yeah. copy of the game, but I don't I don't know. Uh, boy, it's it's going to be a little rough. So you... You either have to stay offline. I would like to be able to review it, days. do like a review copy kind of thing. Yeah, well, but... we're we're still kind of small. I mean, Tucker's huge, but the rest of us are booyah, tiny. bitches. Nah, I, I I'm not that big actually. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm good. Oh, I'm coming for you, Tucker. Uh, coming for you, Tucker. It's on. Okay. It's on. Uh, I think me and many of us are about equal again. Well, yeah, yeah, we we're still small though. I mean, relatively. I don't know what the um. Well, okay, now here's the thing. How, I mean, comparative to other channels like IGN and things like that, where we, all of us are small, but comparative oh, yeah. for Teen Mass Tiny. Effect channels, I think we're the biggest. We're the top. Yeah. 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 We're the top for Mass Effect channels. Yeah, I'm going yeah, we'll... to cut this off because people don't really like it when we talk about ourselves too much. Really? Um, okay, well. Yeah. We <laughs> talk about like, oh, I'm co- I can't get the game early. Oh, no. Yeah, that, yeah, that annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, people, they kind of complain when, when yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, um, oh, boo hoo, you guys make YouTube videos for a living. Well, eh. we can't even like, complain. Or they like, don't understand how long it takes to make one. Like, oh, it's so easy. Anyone no, could do it. I'm like, to complain. I just spent like 20 hours on my life on this. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely I, love every single person that watches all of our videos, but come on, we get to complain sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Well, it's just going on there, extensively. There's, so um, we have to okay. All right, so fine. here's here's let's 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 uh, get it back on track. A, mm-hmm. will you be playing the early access? Yes. How much and All what are you yes. going to do with it? Everything. Ten hours. Everything. Everything. 
I bet you there, there, like, there will be spoilers put out, but it's not going to be like the end of the game or anything. It's ten hours, and there's going to be a progression lock somewhere, so it's not going to be like the big spoilers of the game. But you will have like. Assuming that it starts from the very beginning, you'll be able to have, like, the prologue spoilers and stuff. The whole entire prologue is going to be online. I bet that also, like, the story of what happens to the father is going to be put up online. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, well, I wonder how early in the game your dad does whatever happens to your dad that the rank of Pathfinder passes down to you. It could be in the middle of the game. You don't know. Because, like, for example, in Dragon Age Inquisition, you don't become the Inquisitor until, like, the middle of the game. Well, so. remember the EA or the uh, Sony thing? The Sony thing where you're first checking out the Remnant, and the Remnant oh, are, yeah. like, the yeah. big part of the story. The robot yeah. calls you Pathfinder in that. Well, you didn't find out who the main villain in Inquisition was till that midpoint where you became Inquisitor as well. Tucker, who's so. the main villain in Dragon Age Inquisition? The dragons. That's good stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> at some point, we're like, we're going back and forth. Tucker, you kind of do need to play that game. <laughs> you really do. Um, in order to like, uh, like, in order to like, see the differences between the two, because they're going to have some similarities, so you can be able to compare. You really, you really need to play it. It's super and relevant it. to your channel. Is the is the problem? It is yeah, extremely I'll, relevant I'll to your to channel. It no, you won't. Nah, like, no, you won't. Just speed through it. Don't do any side quests. Literally, just power through well, it. I told so you, you can I be kinda, able to I like. I kind of boned myself with that weird level thing. So then, start a new one. It will only take you like two hours to get where you are no, in the story. Clear out the hinterlands again. Yeah, I'd have to redo all the side quests in the hinterlands and kill <laughs> you, that dragon you really again. Need, and... You really, really need. I had to, to find it. all those three bear claws. That li- it took me three days of finding the oh third my bear God. claw. Okay, Tugger, Tugger, <laughs> man, Tugger. come on. I've cleared the hinterlands like five times now come on tucker i, I believe in you the man. hinterlands 10 times <laughs> just do it <laughs> yeah so anyway um actually this no wonder you like this idea of a 10 hour ea early access you're just gonna be screwing around the whole time anyway oh uh, yeah this is like I, perfect for you you I can mean, just screw around ahead I, of time it's gonna be like i do will this mission. now nah, i'm gonna blow up that plant <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think the best part of having that EA Access 10 hours is that you can spend, like, six of those hours finally making a perfect writer character. So you can make, like, your perfect, like, you can do what you think is right, start playing, realize it's horrible, go back to the drawing board, (laughs) tweak it a bit, realize it's still horrible, go back, tweak it some more, do a little plastic surgery and whatnot, go back in and be happy with it. So that way... You will be able to just go right on in on March 21st or 23rd, depending on where you live, and you can just begin playing with your already perfectly made writer. All right, two questions right from there. First one. Um, yeah. Does it save? Like, so your save, are you able to trans- translate yeah, that? Yeah, your, to- your save will transfer to the full game on the 21st or 23rd or All wherever right, you are. All right, second question. Uh, the EA Early Access is that this, the 17th? Is that also available to the European uh, players? It's on the 16th. I have not heard anything about European. Or did they also have to wait two more days with the, that There as well? was literally just one sentence in the article, right? L- literally just I, one I sentence on the website. blowing out listing, one yeah. sentence <laughs> into about a 10-minute discussion. To yeah, Twitter. it's literally one sentence. There's, it's one sentence. <laughs> Where do we? I can read it again if you want. <laughs> yeah, and of course, that's only... Is it only... If you're playing on the PlayStation, you're boned. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is all. I don't know if it's Origin Access as well, or if it's just for Microsoft. Well, I, would I believe that Sony Access. didn't want to do the EA Access, and it's probably because uh, EA gets more money for it, and Sony didn't like it or not. I don't know. It's it's a conspiracy. It's a so conspiracy I, to make it, money. I'm not. I cool think with it, it might just be EA Access, so just Xbox One because it's Microsoft is the EA Access. So I'm thinking... It should be on PC, though, right? Don't they do that? I thought EA Access was only on Xbox. Xbox. Which is weird. Yeah, EA Access is only on Xbox. Then Origin Access is on the PC. But I haven't heard anything about Origin Access yet. That's ridiculously complicated. It is more complicated (laughs) than it needs to be, yes. Yeah, it's... uh, It's literally, like, the same company's name, but, like... Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to have more information on this when we get more information. 
Uh, right now we have one sentence. That <laughs> you know, a lot it of is questions. A very densely have you seen sentence. the series that some... I've come up with with less than that? Yes. Yes. Oh, I, <laughs> I like how videos are like exactly the same time. Yes. Be- be- yes. <laughs> believe me, it's one sentence, but it will be blown out of the water into like eighty different theories by I'd say eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> The, well, I will weave in a theory about Corians with that early access. Oh, oh my please God, do. please no. It's, please it's do. proof. <laughs> it's proof that there are Corians that there's an early access. I mean, because Corians get up <laughs> early in the, the morning. Yes. I know. I because know Corians like to do things early and efficiently, <laughs> that it being early posted... is showing that Corians are in the game, and the specific date is the birth date of a Corian somewhere in the game. Undeniable proof there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I need my Corians. I posted this thing on Twitter and on Tumblr and whatever, and it became very popular. And it was like news. Wait, what thing was is, it? I'm not even that. I'm not a huge Korean fan. I just love the blown <laughs> Korean theory. I, yeah, I, I love I love the blown Korean theories too. I'm starting to really was, really enjoy it. The thing I posted was news. Reyes fandom. Oh my god, it's a Korean <laughs> news. Jal fandom. Oh my god, it's a Korean. News. Accidental sneeze. Fandom. Oh my god, it's a quarry! <laughs> hey, all of those are true, by the way. There are three quarians in the game, and you named all three. Believe me. And one of them is named Accidental yeah. Sneeze. Yeah. It's actually just a noise. <laughs> That's it! Yeah. That sounds like it could be a quarian name. I hope I do! It's romanceable. <laughs> it's, I, it, it is so fun. I, I'm a huge quarian <laughs> fan. I want them in the game so bad, but... Even I, when it comes to like, look at this blurry ass image. Look at it. It's got Corian legs. I, I'm just like, I want it to be a Corian. I do, bro. I do. But please calm down. Not everything is a Corian. They're <laughs> not everything. They're is, probably gonna be in the game. Probably. Well, Liam. Okay. Liam is a Corian. That's, yeah, Liam that's and Cora are Corians. No, 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 no. Cora is not. Liam. The Corians that got their legs cut off and then got them replaced with human prosthetics. Wait, how do you know Liam? Like, how do you know Liam is a Corian, not Cora? Because Korra is a coral. I thought we said both. No, Korra is a coral. Their names are too similar. Korra is a <laughs> sentient coral that has come to life and taken form inside of a, a spacesuit. Holy shit. Why did I ask? Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be original. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually do think a while back there were several people saying Korra was a Korin because of one screenshot from, I think... Oh yeah! God, it was some kind of gameplay. Look at her before. legs. Her it's, legs are yeah, human shaped. I know it's like, the dude, mask just look at her legs. was a little funky on like, that. Like the thing that. is, their helmet style in this game looks very similar to the Korean helmet style. Is why everyone's going, "Oh my god, the Korean!" <laughs> it's a slight. Oh god, it's a visor. Look, visor. It's is it purple? Is it purple? No, no, it's blue. Damn. And I'm like, guys, look at look at the legs of the people and the five yeah. fingers that they have. It's it's basic. <laughs> Fictional biology, people. Just look at them, yeah. please. <laughs> Pay attention to the I, details. I, I, do, I do like the ones though, where the the thing is totally blurry and could be anything. Yes, and that's evidence of the core. That, yeah. Those are my oh, those are my favorites. I because that's oh. like you can't so, you can't shut them down on that when they point that out to you. There's there's no shutting them down because you can't prove it's not a Corian because it's a blur. Oh God! So Believe me, I know. Na- I another it. thing. <laughs> Another recent thing that's got people kind of butt hurt is that the Tempest will have no main gun, oh, cannon, God. weaponry, that's, whatever. Th- the Tempest? Who cares? I'm like, I- yeah. I'm not bothered. The Normandy used its main gun, like, what, maybe three times in the entire trilogy? What? Maybe. Once in the first game and twice in the second game, I believe. I don't a think it was ever used in the mess. But I think it was just once in the second game, yeah, wasn't it? it was just been... I could. Well, it might have just game, been yeah. like the final, the final showdown when you destroy the collector ship. I think that's the only time you use the I, main gun. Isn't I could have swore they shot twice at the collector's main ship. I might, I might be wrong, but I could have swore it was twice. Wow! Th- so it had this, such a huge impact on us that we don't know how many times the this game. This is exactly. actually <laughs> yeah. a question that I had set up from uh, Michael Dunn. Was how do you feel about the Nomad Tempest not having weapons? The um, the Nomad, I can see people being a little bit upset about, but. Of course, we haven't got our hands on it yet, mm-hmm. so yeah, I, feel I don't like know. That might not matter. I feel like, Cause like though it not having weapons is very much heavy a gameplay decision because how many times did you just kind of sit back in the Mako and just shoot the enemies before going into the buildings? All the time. I ran them yeah. over. 
<laughs> well, yeah, you can yeah, run him over, but if you don't have I, weapons, running, if you, I mean, you still get damage getting close and while hitting them. Yeah. But if you could just sit back and snipe him with the cannon, I mean, it would kind mm-hmm. of ruin some of the gameplay. Uh, they want you to yeah. play on the ground, I, I guess, yeah. maybe. So I, I, I feel yeah. like that's very much heavy a game decision. I'm depends well, a the lot reason on the, they don't. <laughs> depends I, a lot on the layout of the maps too. And yeah, their like reasoning for not having exactly. weaponry on the Tempest is that. We're like a scouting ship, and like for exploration and stuff, we're not a like military ship. And uh, Mac Walters used hashtag We Come in Peace, and so a lot of people were like, "Oh my god, you have to have guns! You're going to a new galaxy. There's gonna be like shit that goes down and stuff." And I'm like, "They never said that there was." I mean, there's still guns. Yeah, you don't like that, that doesn't game. have to happen in the story. You don't have to have that happen. How lame would it be if they brought like three ships? And that's it. Mm-hmm. And like one of them is the big space station, the other is the Ark, and the other is the Tempest. That's it. That's all they got. Come on, there's gonna be that more than three of. ships. There are gonna be other ships. <laughs> Some there's of them are gonna have guns. Shuttles. <laughs> prob- there's shuttles. That's confirmed in yeah. one of the like thingamajigs. Um, and then I there's think a science term for it actually. At least four. At least four Pathfinder ships. Then four Arks and the and the Nexus that we know of. Probably a whole lot more. I would yeah, I, I'm just assuming they're they're going to be some fighters. They're definitely fighters. Uh, that escort yeah, oh, yeah, there are fighters because they said there would be like when we in the in the arcs and Nexus mm-hmm. briefing, it said that like when they approach Andromeda, a small escort of like fighter ships will be- protect us in case anything happens. That to me sounded really sketchy. Yeah, the Batarians would take care of that, right? Like you just walk by and there's like a gigantic ship full of loot going through Batarian space. They're taking that shit out. It's not happening. <laughs> we'll see what happens on March 16th. Yeah, on March 16th. So <laughs> a- anyway, that's that's your uh, early preview. I believe you said it earliest uh, when I asked you what EA Access was, why this thing exists. It's for money. Uh, they get money it's from this. It's for money. This is not a, to not a demo dollar, or something dollar bills, like that. Y'all. Uh, I mean, the, the thing that I would much rather prefer them to do is to open up a multiplayer beta and let people play around with it for a long time, which yeah, is the next topic. The, yeah, because yeah, the thing beta. is, Let's that talk thing's, about it. it's got to <laughs> open in February, which gives like a month and a half for people to play it. How much can you tweak it if something is horribly wrong that you didn't know about that the people that are playing the beta discover if you only have like a month and a half to tweak it to make it better, you know? Yeah, it's not no longer a real beta, probably. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's just kind of like an early access to that you can't talk it's about. It's a demo. <laughs> I, I, I expect it'll it's, be open. It's an NDA demo, essentially. Do you think it'll yeah. be NDA at that point? Oh, yeah. They did that. They did um, something similar for Inquisition's multiplayer. All right. <laughs> and the beta, I assume, may continue forward in that the people that are in the beta will be able to play like DLC for the multiplayer before it's released and get feedback on that too. I cuz that's what they did with Inquisition. I feel like they're going to EA's going to more go the route of Battlefront beta, which is let a few people in early and then have the open beta for like 2 days. I'm thinking more along the lines of having an open beta that's open and demo-ish and Oh, I mean it's it's going to be an open beta. It's not going to be an NDA beta. Yeah, that it's it's too big. And especially because we'll they're trying to bring this uh, series back, which it hasn't had a game in a while. They really want everyone to get, they want to get as many people interested in it as they can. So they will mm-hmm. have that open. Especially because it's a reboot for the franchise too. Yeah. So and, what's our guess for beta date? Uh, I'd say mid-February. Yeah, I really I fucking hope it's mid-February yeah. because <laughs> that's when We're I don't have college or oh, i don't have college it's all or about work you or right all well hey you. hey no. no i'm just saying that's what i hope it is <laughs> oh i was saying i think that's the likely time. yeah that too let's uh, go with that one I, I, i'm going uh early february okay that's my call yeah what about you minius are you going march 21st minius yes <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't i don't know i i don't know or march 16th I, i've already kind of <laughs> no. proven that i am not on whatever marketing wavelength they are they're doing something that's weird and totally foreign to me that's they are they're saving everything for like the last bit and i'm not sure how that works exactly i don't have formal marketing education so i can't tell you other than what i experience from doing what i do 
But what I think, from at least from what I see, is that you have the majority of consumers are in this collective that I'm going to call like the uninformed, less attentive bunch that probably aren't watching this podcast because everyone that's usually what? watching this podcast is <laughs> is very much like they're in the know relatively. So I feel like the bunch that aren't usually in the know, the majority of the consumers that are going to buy the game, when you have two months before launch, I don't think that they're going to be able to like catch up with all the news that's going to be put out with the massive amount of stuff they're going to drop in the last minute. I don't think that a lot of that's going to reach them. Is my concern I, with that? Uh, really, with the, there's only one point to marketing, and that's to sell the game. Yeah. So you don't really need a bunch of information to sell a game. You do need to have people interested, though. And yeah, the, the one so that's what I'm saying. The one perception that yeah. I've worried about and continue to worry about is that it doesn't like a lot of people are worried that the game isn't ready or something's wrong with it, and holding off on all this stuff kind of reinforces that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are worried just because they aren't showing enough of it. Of yeah. course, how large is that audience? I don't know. There isn't a clear cut, this is how you should market a game strategy out there. So trying stuff is a way to do it. And uh, who knows, they might be able to dominate the gaming conversation through February and early March. And if they do that, then it's successful. If that's the only game people are talking about for a month before it comes out, then that's what you want. So that could work. Maybe. We're all going to die with the amount of stuff they're going to put out in like a month and I, a half. I don't even know how I'm going to handle it. Too So much editing. So much editing. I'm just going to die. We're all going to die is what's going to happen. We're all just going to die. What I've been doing is I've been doing like shorter news updates so I can kind of consistently stay on top of it a little bit better. So doing it like maybe like five to six minute, five to like eight minute long ones instead of like 10 minute long ones. So we're trying to like one a week as soon as I can type out like a thousand words, then I just do it. Hey, guys. <coughs> yeah. On the topic of betas, the Halo Wars 2 betas out right now. Oh, my God. You like oh. Halo? What? Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording right now and go get it. It is actually really fun. Y'all can go fudge yourself. <laughs> I love fudge. Dude, fudge is <laughs> delicious. That sounds great. I actually, fudge is the fudge best. Fudge is awesome, <laughs> dude. I want to go to Killand and get one of those like big, like the white chocolate fudge stuff. Ooh, Ooh that sounds good. Now we're talking. I'm actually going to go do that after. I vote that we title this episode Fudge is Awesome. No, can we go fudge yourself? <laughs> go fudge yourself? Okay, that works. <laughs> oh, and it'd anyway, be like, like... <laughs> it could be Scott Ryder, and instead of a face, it's fudge. <laughs> <laughs> How is that gonna so, work? <laughs> it's just like a blob. Yes, yes, it will be. It will be a blob of fudge in a space. You can do the official Liam and Corum reveal. A uh, core reveal. You take off their helmets and it's just a bunch <laughs> They're of fudge. fudge people. They're just fudge people. <laughs> they take off their inanimate fudge Liam, inside of space suits. <laughs> Actually, I'm fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> You see the reveal, coming. he takes off his helmet, it's a Quarian helmet underneath, and then takes off the Quarian helmet, and it's just a bunch of fudge. Who saw that coming? So, another bit of news that happened recently, it's kind of a leak, I don't know if it's technically a leak, but it's kind of a leak, is that, and it's not a major leak, so if you're like, oh god, spoilers, like, calm down, people, it's not that bad. So, what was revealed is through Funko Pop, who puts out those little figurine things, you know, they revealed in one of their, like, news update kind of things that they're going to put out a Liam Costa Funko Pop figurine. So Liam's last name is Costa. And then one for a character named Jal. Do you think it's Jal or Jal? I'm thinking they... I think it's Jal. You don't think they got like an apostrophe in between the A's? There's no apostrophe in there. Well, and I... you, like, Fun like Funko knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah, Funko... I have never seen Funko do anything right. necessarily like wrong to that regard. So... I would assume it's just Jal instead of Jal. Be really funny if. Because think about how uh, how hard that would be to pronounce if you're going Jal. Yeah. Jal. I'm pretty sure it just could be pronunciation. It could be different depending. On it's jail. They are. It could be. It could be jail. <laughs> jail. <laughs> What's up, jail? What's up, jail man? What's up? <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah now i'm like 90 percent certain it's jail oh got you saying it's, it's, it's jail it's catchier jail. <laughs> jail. 
<laughs> Maybe you pronounce the J as a G, so it's like it's Gale. Oh. Okay, I'm so done. It's a silent <laughs> jail. It's a silent J. It's, it's just all. It's a silent J. It's all. <laughs> all. What if or the wait, entire maybe it's name a silent is silent? L, so it's the, Ja. Yeah, it, it's, the entire it's name ja. is silent, or the J and the L are silent, so it's just Ah. There are no ah. letters. This is alien names oh are confusing. You can do whatever you want with uh, it. Ja. If there is, if there is a like a hyphen or apostrophe in that name, I'm going to make fun of it a lot because I'm so tired of that in sci-fi stuff. <laughs> Every alien does not need an apostrophe in their name. Doesn't need to be a thing. Yeah, Tally Vas Normandy, whatever Tally Zora thing. <laughs> hey, just be Tally. You don't like like whatever. Don't need to apostrophize everything. Okay, I think at this point Bioware just needs to troll us and just have a random Solarian <laughs> called Bob somewhere in the game. Absolutely. <laughs> just be like, wait, wait. Does it have like an H? Is that like a B O H B E E? No, it's just Bob. It's just Bob B O B. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, what do you I, think a solarian would sound like with a southern accent oh my god i think beautiful. we'd all die first off if that happens yeah <laughs> beautiful I, I know i would i would i'd die laughing i'm i'm from texas i'm from a very deep part of texas and I, oh we're in texas uh i originally was from uh baytown about an hour outside of houston oh, oh man okay. right next to the gulf Ooh, nice yeah, I know where Baytown is. Oh, nice. So, can I, either of you guys pull off a Solarian <laughs> Southern accent? Let's see. Jeez, uh, I can't even imagine how that would happen. Yeah, isn't it? Like, like you just like, you're like you get started in your mind. You're like, wait a minute, I can't do that. That doesn't work. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shepard, don't ingest. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine a when the solarian. proportion of the bullet hits exactly ninety eight point seven miles per hour in kilometers and things like that, m equals m c squared. And y'all, it's the one <laughs> solarian that something. can grow facial hair, and he has like an old miner's facial hair. <laughs> yeah, overalls on in the lab. Yes. Just... All right, now this yes. needs to happen. Jeez. Oh my god! Uh, I know that the y'all don't have tacos on this ship. <laughs> Well, darn there, Let me just say this. There had better be space tacos in this game, okay? There have there there's space cans of beans, so we're like we're like halfway there. Oh yeah, yeah, good point, good point. If we have can you go- guys seen the Omniblade cosplay thing? Yes. Saw that the other day. Yes. 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 Where 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 are the tracks? I lost the tracks. <laughs> we, we were on what? tracks, we were talking about Solarians. Were we? <laughs> like, hold on, like, Tucker, Tucker, let's let's go. Where do we? Get, how do we get from Solarians to Omni Blade cosplay? Just Facebook. take us inside your mind for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I think that's a very scary place, Maze. I don't think you want to go there. No pressure, no. Tucker. No pressure. Did you see? Come on. Were you watching a cat video the whole time, oh! and then like a like, Omni Blade oh! popped up? Oh, Mass Effect responded to my tweet. Quick <laughs> sidetrack. Um, I asked. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is the EA access the same day for UK as it is for the US, or do they have to wait? And Mass Effect responded saying, "Yes, EA access for Mass Effect and Drama starts on March 16th for all members." Woo! So that was actually relevant too. At first, I thought you were gonna like like fanboy out or something. Like, oh my god, they responded. <laughs> <laughs> they asked what I asked what fudge they like. All right, cool. Actual information on the fly. I I even nice. I even uh, actually responded saying, "Yes, this is relevant to the podcast." <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh speaking of twitter and stuff uh we usually do a weekly poll and our timing last week threw a way off uh we asked which of these abilities would you most like to see return for mass effect andromeda we asked biotic flare shadow strike biotic slash and then frag grenade Booyah, which bitch. came in which which came in last with a actually surprising 17 percent. 17 percent of you said of those four you'd rather see frag grenade <laughs> Screw all of you. I think it's because people just wanted to fuck with us because they knew that one was Tucker's. It's very possible. Anyway, one Shadow day, Strike came in came in first with 39%. Uh, ooh, Biotic Flare had 23. People just vote because they yeah, know that's Biotic mine and they'll think that's funny. Up. And Biotic Slash had 21. Yeah. I, it's, I hope that's why because, man, you know how many games have a frag grenade in it? 
like like games with guns. Every Halo game like, has frag grenades. Oh my! Every there you go. I I can't think of games that don't have frag grenades if you have a gun. It's like standard portal. <laughs> Is there? That's a portal gun. I like shooting enemies. What what's Left that one that's by Nintendo that has like the paint guns? You know that one, sk- sk- something. Splatoon. Left for Dead. Splatoon. Yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, I don't think that one has frag grenades. Uh, what about Left for Dead? Um, who? Left for Dead. Really? Left not dead any not grenades, grenades in that? No. What about Dead Space? Yeah. No. Can't yeah. Well. Them. Okay. So so what? So poll so, do we it, have so you're week? saying Dead Space Four would happen if there were frag grenades in Dead Space Three? Dead, dead Space. <laughs> dead Space is not happening. Yeah. It's, it's okay. another Dead Space isn't happening. <laughs> Yeah, don't see that happening. Do we want to have a early access related poll? Sure. I love having polls. How do you feel about re- how do you feel about it? Should we do that or what do you want to what do you want to do here? Hmm. Can we say what's your excitement? One or two? <laughs> can we know, can we just say that? Can that just be yes. a poll? What is your excitement? One or two? Just, just what is your excitement? One or yes. two? No, no context. <laughs> no context. What is your excitement? No. One or two? <laughs> All right, I'm in. All right, <laughs> All right let's, let's go for it. <laughs> Biofan, you okay with that? I'm, I have a uh, what? It is. It is. No, it's what is your excitement? Just that. What is your excitement? No context. No context whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> really, people? I, mean, I think I think it's like, actually like it's growing on me quite a bit. People are going to want to take this poll. <gasps> <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's 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 great because people are going to know who came up with the poll right away. I wonder how many comments are going to be. Did Tucker write this one? I'm going to put in, in in brackets. Tucker picked this one. <laughs> I could just think, I could just see the thinking going with this though. I'd be like, oh wait, okay, so one probably means best because number one. Oh wait, or does two mean double? Or, or does two? Because two is ah. yeah, exactly. They're they're but they're fucking with my mind, man. I don't know what to do. They just jump out a window. I'm actually no, like legitimately should... <laughs> curious to see which one wins. You should no, you, one yeah, or I was two. Gonna say you should either be like, what is your excitement? One, three, or four? Just <laughs> <laughs> two. No, just go. It's one or two. We'll keep it there because that's one, like. Okay, so I have weekly and drama nerds poll. What is your excitement? Blame and seven followers. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put it out there. Do it. Okay. Oh, let, it, let it out into the world. Let it happen. <laughs> All right, we got to get some uh, get, get some questions in, and then we got to get to the other segment so we don't break uh, Biofan's computer. Oh, shit, I did it from the Biofan Twitter, not the Indrop. How oh, dare you? Whoop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Why, Whoops. Who put that there? <laughs> Whoops. Why don't you take that down and fix Whoops. it? Um, Tucker, do we have, que- we have questions? Yeah, we have questions. We, One of them we, do we have actually questions? already answered somewhat in the podcast. So, okay, cool. Uh, is there anything I should know? There are new messages at your private terminal. Well, yeah, we have questions. Hey, sweet trainer, what's up? I like how ability to rain hates that segment. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, all right, what what do we got? So, uh, because we already answered one of Michael Dunn's questions, he had two of them. I just thought let's first throw on that one. It's a meta question. What is the hardest thing about making this podcast? Uh, Dealing with your derailment. Well, I I just think it's a, it's easily schedule matching. Yeah, schedule my. I mean, that, that's a stupid answer. The derailment qu- answer is much better, so we'll go with that. <laughs> Mine is trying to come up with good derailments. <laughs> trying is that what you're doing when you're silent? You're not actually looking at pet videos. You're thinking of how can I derail this podcast? No, I'm hardest. looking at like pet videos, and I remember like I had a really good avocado sandwich today. I should tell people about that. <laughs> <laughs> you derailed your own derailment. That's good. Yeah. Right. It's a meta derailment. Derailception. <laughs> All right. So, Eric Ness. Now, Eric. He. Uh, hmm, Eric Nice. Let's go with that one. 
My wife is going to give birth to our baby girl later this month. Congratulations. Aww, we will be naming yay. her Liara, and I was wondering what Mass Effect oh. character, if any, you would name your own child after. I plan to name my future dog either Arya or Rex. I don't know if that's the same level. And humans kind of... Uh... Oh, well, okay. Excuse <laughs> yeah. me, my fur baby. Yeah. Sorry. I don't... I would name a kid Arya. I think that's a cool name. I think Tally would be a cool name. Um, I would name it. Mm-hmm. One is currently in the lead. <laughs> is it really? Could, <laughs> yes. Do you think we could have With this? Five votes. Do you think we could have this baby on as a special guest? Well, I'd love to have Liara on the show. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I can't think of really any name yeah. that I would give to a kid. I mean, I absolutely love the Mass Effect universe, but I wouldn't name a kid after any character. I can't think. Uh, of- I mean, if I happen to really like the name and it coincided, then yeah, you know, whatever. But I don't think I would purposely name my child. I guess I would it. go with Liara though too. I mean, Liara was my favorite. Liara is a cool name, yeah, yo. Probably Morton. Liara. Morton if it was a Tally. dude. That kind of stuff. Morton if it was a guy. Yes, I would go. With that. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's tough naming your kids weird stuff. I mean, but the R <laughs> sounds really cool, so you could probably just go like, "Oh, that sounds that sounds neat." On a, so that one and Liara is a cool character to be named after. Too. I mean, on exactly. a side kind of note, this isn't specific. Better than Jacob. This isn't specific towards Eric Nestle, but um, naming your I mean, a name is what? something that you're stuck with for your life. So, well, her name will be like Liara Nestle. It's not like it's Liara to Sony Nestle or something like that. I hope. <laughs> but I wish I turn- the absolute best of luck to Eric Nestle Monster. So, I, l- I like how you pronounce his name correctly and then corrected yourself and tried to mispronounce his name oh, as no. many ways yeah. as possible. Yeah. It, this guy's email said, "My name is so simple. I don't think Tucker can mispronounce it." So, and you're like, and you like try, on. but you got it right and then tried to prove it wrong repeatedly. So Nestle Crunch here can see that I mispronounced his name. <laughs> so actually, you can tell it doesn't matter what you name your daughter because Tucker is going to mispronounce it. There you go. What's the next question? All right. But again, we all wish you the best of luck and congratulations. No, that, that, yeah, that kid. sounds it sounds awesome, actually. All right. So Simon Marshall says, do you think there will be multiple options for a human homeworld in Andromeda? And if so, would that mean wildly different endings concerning politics, allies, enemies, etc.? Isn't it already kind of like inferable that there will be more than one world for humans? Well, well, to, to live what on. What I and think stuff? he's meaning because we're colonizing, you know. So well, what I think he's meaning is like a main one. Like, where do you want to put your main hub? And you have like different options. Oh. And this one may have a higher buff to upgrading weapons. This one may have a higher buff to upgrading uh, armor. Just I like don't, different. I don't think we're gonna have a main. Yeah, hub. if we do, it's not gonna be much more than that kind of buff, though. I don't. Like, I don't think we'll have a main hub. I think it's like our nexus is the yeah. hub for the organization, and then there's different human colony worlds Un- unless that we establish. Unless there is an option to take over somebody else's home world and make it yours, because that could have story ramifications. Multiplayer. Definitely. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, check out this. This home world's awesome, but there's these adorable bunny <laughs> people on it. You're like, no, Man. no, it's our home world now. This, get get out. You know, this I, home world is awesome. I, I, Kill the bunny people. I really on. need that plus five metal coming in, you know, for resources. So, uh, yeah, bunny people, <laughs> could you, like, move out? Wait, you won't? Okay. God. Uh, bring in the big guns. Genocide. <laughs> I need that extra ore. <laughs> so it's the plot to Avatar. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Man, this is, this uh, looks Ender, awesome, yeah. but the bonuses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's like this yeah. this struggling people. That you're like, but I need I need plus four to health. <laughs> <laughs> the comments on our poll are: I have no idea what this means. What does this mean? <laughs> oh. It's bad because uh, Biofan has to do it, and he's like the least interested in that poll, uh. and so he's gonna get blamed for it. <laughs> Oh, two with the I commanding play, I lead. I put blame in seven followers, so people know whose fault it is. Two as a commanding lead. 62% oh my god, there are forty three votes on this thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, our polls usually get like six hundred votes by the time. But this we vote. this one is like yeah. like 
It's it's got a numbing quality to it because you're gonna yeah. look at it and instead of having an answer, you're gonna go like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> I, I can imagine somebody sitting down having like a philosophical theorizing session over this whole thing, just like but one which or one? two. But it, but it's simple. But is it like, that simple? <laughs> like you're looking at the question, you're like, "But what is two? Like what what is two? I don't know, but two has the lead right now with sixty five percent. Well, I'm going to have to try to revive that segment next week. I hope I didn't just kill it. Um, nah, it'll be good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Come up with an idea beforehand, maybe. All here's, right. a que- here's a question yeah. that I got. Um, oh, how do you get your questions read on Andromeda Nerds? By having an interesting question. That is the key, right? Your question has to not, be interesting, right? Not like, really. Like the most what it is is I try not to go over repeat questions. I mean, sometimes they do slip in, but if we if there's a question on there that I know either we've answered, we can't really answer, or that would be too short of an answer. Okay, I imagine it also helps if your question is not very long. That too. I, there have been some questions that are, I'm not even joking, I just read one question that this person wrote over 500 words. Oh, which Including, which we appreciate your dedication, but but it's which it's hard gonna, to go through a whole bunch of five hundred word stuff. I'm going to give a shout out here to Joe Blow for that, but like, dude, no. So the key is to write a question that's that's nice, can get a, be start a good discussion and tickles Tucker's fancy, like this next question. <laughs> what? Oh wow. Way to ruin that. Not This one is by C. Wallace. And this person says it's not necessarily a question, but more of a topic that he feels should be discussed. And I've gotten a few other questions like this, which is why I'm throwing this one in. Uh, the different versions of the game that are coming out and what each edition actually includes. He's a bit confused as to what's going on and would like some help with it. You're talking about like the special okay. editions and stuff? Yeah, like the standard edition, special edition, the nomad edition, the all that stuff. Hold on, I got an image for this. Let me pull it up. I will tell you exactly. Can you can you put it, on the, put it on the screen? That, I will put it on screen. That Bam. picture yeah. will not trump the one that I just put in chat with the dog. You know what? I think it will. Are you asking <laughs> a question and derailing it immediately. I make the videos, and I can tell you which picture is going to make it in and which one's not. Yeah. Uh, there it's little it. minor stuff, right? I don't ever recall one except for the okay. remote control car sticking out. I mean, there is. They, I mean, there's. You know, the vanilla edition, the standard one. Can't yeah. really okay. go over much of that. So, the so if you pre-order, then I'll, I'll start with pre-order. If you pre-order, you get the Deep Space Explorer armor, a multiplayer booster pack, and the nom- and a Nomad skin, like an extra skin for your Nomad to change its color. <clears throat> That's just if you pre-order, and for so. The standard edition doesn't automatically come with those. You have to pre-order that. And then the deluxe edition comes with all of that that I just mentioned, plus a Pathfinder casual outfit, scavenger armor, Pathfinder elite weapon set that says there's four weapons, a pet pie jack, the digital soundtrack, one multiplayer deluxe launch pack, and that's everything that comes in the deluxe edition. And then the super deluxe edition has all of that. But it has 20 weekly packs for the multiplayer deluxe thing. Holy jig. shit, really? 20? Yeah, 20, 20 weekly packs. There's a big price difference, though. Yeah. Like the Super yeah. Deluxe Edition's like 90 bucks versus the Deluxe Edition's like what? Like 60 or 70 or something? 60, I think. I forget. Um, and, then the, and then it also yeah. has like another multiplayer booster pack thing. So the Super Deluxe Edition so- basically is just a ton of multiplayer bonuses compared to the regular Deluxe Edition. The Deluxe Edition has a bunch of cool stuff. The Super Deluxe Edition has all that cool stuff, but like a ton of multiplayer stuff on top of that. So really, the way to make the decision between the standard Deluxe and Super Deluxe is, do you want the cool stuff? It's, it's well, go for the Deluxe Edition. Do you play a lot of multiplayer? Yeah. Maybe go for the Super Deluxe Edition. If you don't play a lot of multiplayer, like I might play like maybe 10 hours, maybe max of this multiplayer thing. So I'm probably just going to, I'm just going to go with the Deluxe Edition. That's how I'm going to do it. Now, there's also the Nomad Edition. Which, oh, the Collector's which Edition, you mean. you can get the Nomad and get tack on the game for, I think, like a few bucks cheaper. 
the the game is not included actually you can order it with the game and for it's a few you can order cheaper. it with the game but it's not like the game isn't included with them with the collector's edition no, but it, and the collector's edition also has like a metal case you can put your game in but by the way that makes it not a collector's edition yeah, yeah okay. officially that, <laughs> if you do, if, if you don't get the game it's not a collector's edition it's just it a is, piece yeah. of thing it, it makes it it makes it a nomad with a with a metal case edition but it is like a few bucks cheaper i think if you get like the game with the nomad isn't it like five bucks cheaper or ten bucks cheaper or something like that i haven't seen that on the idea um, there's also this. with the uh, quote collector's edition you can get one that's cheaper um, that has a Nomad that's not remote controllable versus the more expensive one has a remote controllable. You can also just buy the Nomad separately, uh, both versions separately, from the quote collector's edition. And supposedly they may add more to the collector's edition. So I hope they do because I don't think many people are going to buy it. Because I mean the Nomad thing's cool, but like it's hella expensive for just that. There's too many options. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many options. I, I, if you play a ton of mul- if you play a ton of multiplayer, you may want to do Super Deluxe. If you just if you just want the cool stuff, Deluxe Edition. It's basically. How so it I already know that I'm buying all the stuff digital. So I haven't actually even made a decision yet on which one I'm going to buy. But I probably got to get on on that because people keep on asking, and I feel like yeah. woefully uninformed. It's gonna mind I've already I've reserved it. mine. I reserved my deluxe edition and my collector's edition strategy guide at GameStop. Yeah, if you're getting a physical copy, mm-hmm. you might want to get on that. I don't yeah, need physical copies anymore. I mean, for as many hours as I'm putting into this game with covering it, I want the physical copy, you know, just to commemorate the fact of all that work I put in. I want to see that disc every time I open my game drawer and be like, oh yeah, that's this cool, awesome thing I did for millions and millions of hours. I uh, I ordered the Nomad, the remote control one, or yeah. the diecast one, yeah. or the no, little the, tiny the, one. The remote control one. Okay, because I saw three different options, and that's when I stopped looking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I'm just going with the deluxe version. I don't need the extra multiplayer stuff. I plan on playing a lot of multiplayer, but I don't feel like spending. Yeah, I don't want to pay, <laughs> yeah, pay ninety dollars <laughs> and not use that stuff. Yeah. You know. I, I'm just very much looking forward to driving around that RC car. Especially because it has a like little camera and stuff in it. And so I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, you can so... record video and take pictures on it, yes. too. So you can be like undercover spy. I also just can't wait for when I'm driving it outside my apartment complex when it gets taken. I can see where it goes. Uh, I don't I don't know how useful a spy thing that's going to be. It's probably really loud. Oh, yeah. That, 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 thing's, that thing's noisy. It's like, I'm sure I'm sure someone's going to get up to something <laughs> with it at some point. All right. Well, we'll get spy videos. I Ex- was a younger sibling once upon a time. I would have gotten up to something with when it. When it comes out, <laughs> I will record the next podcast, or at least my part, with the Nomad. Does it have a mic? I could probably Jerry rig one on there. Okay, so quality <laughs> material right there. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's go with some highlights because uh, we all run YouTube channels. E- even Carlin runs a YouTube what? channel. Yes, like amazing. Like, that's like that's kind of like you kind of have to have a YouTube channel to be on the show. Although maybe not. Well, might have to change Unless that. Unless you're role. like a developer or a voice actor, yeah. and you did something pretty cool hint, like hint. that. Then <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, we, nudge, hint, hint. We wink, wink, we do not discriminate cough, cough. against the developers or voice actors. So, what's the coolest video you have out right now, Biofan? So, I did another news update um, over, like, the new leaked character stuff, some multiplayer details, uh, kind of things like that, Squadmate info, just kind of the stuff that's in the last week. So, I've been I've been pumping out these news updates. Two weeks ago, I did the largest one I've ever done, which is now, like, my, like, fourth or fifth most popular video ever. Then, a week later, I did another news update, which is now, like, my sixth or seventh most popular video ever, and then... Like, two days ago, I put out another one, and it's doing really well. So I'm just pumping out the news updates. And by the time this is out, I will probably have done my analysis of the Nomad and Tempest briefing. I've just had a lot of stuff happen with starting the semester and stuff, so I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I will, and it'll be good, because my analyses are awesome. People really like them. So it'll be out soon. Way to be modest. 
<laughs> uh, Tucker, what do you got going on? Uh, I've been pretty busy over on Halo Follower because of the beta, and that is also part of my job. With Halo you Follower. like Halo oh, now, right? <laughs> that is also part of my job is making videos over on that channel. But um, I, I am. Or there will be a video on Mass Effect Follower that is another what if video that uh, people seem to have liked. That uh, the first one that was what if the Genophage was never created. Uh, the next one coming out is what if uh, Shepard never touched the beacon. Ooh, is that yeah. Ooh. does that mean that the game the trilogy doesn't happen? No, no, it's like no, okay, it so happens. say he didn't touch it. Instead, they put she it on the door. Okay, you know that sounds a lot <laughs> I'm, like I'm, my I'm, sex I'm, life. Um, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Um, but so they put it on the Normandy, and then someone else interacted with it. It may have killed the person because they may not have been enough strong willed. They may not have gotten the message Jenkins around. Touched it. <laughs> they may not have gotten around. The council may have slapped some le- uh, legislations on it. So Saren would have gotten so far ahead that we wouldn't have been able to fully stop him. Then Mass Effect Three may have started right then. Things like that. So, like, Mass Effect 3 would have started when, like, Mass Effect 2 started. Basically, it is a, this doesn't happen, how does the story change? So the trilogy that doesn't happen. Interesting. Basically. And then another one that we are working on, which I haven't done anything for, it's probably going to come out in the, uh, sometime, is what if our what if the human's first interaction was not with the Turians, if it was with a different race? If it was with the Asari, there'd be a lot of sex. Well, see, that, that was the one. If it was with the Asari, I think it might have been less violent because mm-hmm. the Turians are pretty militant. Yeah, a lot of sex. So, But, like, the reason that there was a first contact war in the first place is because the Turian, cause the Turians saw the humans trying to mess with the relay that the council said, no, 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 don't touch that. And the humans didn't know that because the humans didn't meet any aliens yet. So the Turians were like, you're breaking the law. So I think that any other race that was like within council race would have been like you're breaking the law, and well, then it would have been like the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, so well, the Turians didn't say you're breaking the law; they just shot. Yeah, so, yeah. We, do, we do have it's a, a script. little. It's a little different, but it was it was like a really bad law. Well, to we break. do have a script, but it so. the script goes over. You know, it kind of explains how the interaction with the Turians. Then there was the Krogans, the Batarians, the Vortia, the Asari, and the Salarians. Kind of what what it would be. And I, I very much love this series stuff, and I want to know like some. You should put Hanar as an option because that. I, I'm would picturing be fun. first contact with the Vorch, and we're like, man, there isn't intelligent life out here. <laughs> like, <laughs> guys, what the <laughs> fuck was that? Did you see that thing? We're like, oh my god, what is it? Why are they screeching at us? God, <laughs> fuck space, <laughs> fuck space, guys. Let's Those check out the teeth. underwater. Ah, you die now. The Vorch counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. Carlin, what do you got going on on your channel, which has links all over the place on our videos? Yay! Uh, well, mostly I've been talking about controversies lately, debates going on with camera and that kind of stuff. Ah, oh, such a dumb debate. But I have been talking about a few theories for multiplayer, for the Tempest, for ah, what was it? Uh, Quarians, a couple of videos for that. But I do plan on in the next couple of weeks uh, releasing some of my own theory videos on how the cat are possibly perceiving us as we're coming into Andromeda, perceiving us as, you know, this evil alien race of Milky Wayans trying to invade, taking worlds, taking resources, and how we could be seen as actually the bad guy by the people we perceive to be the bad guys. And possibly even the fact that we might be the ones that start the remnant back to rising out of these vaults and these ruins, and maybe the cat had something to do with locking them away a long time ago. So, yet another reason to see us as the Ooh, that's an interesting theory. I mm-hmm. like that So you got, one. like, a theory attack going on. Like, lots of theories. I, I my mind is crazy. <laughs> I constantly well, am thinking outside the box. I, I try to find the most random thoughts possible, and I'm like, could that actually happen? And then I try to find evidence hmm. in the past that could lead to it, and I'm like, eh, it won't work. But, my audience is awesome because they come up with Awesome theories all the time. Some of them won't work because, well, timeline is a thing. But, like, the whole Remnant Vault stuff, they, they've they led me down some awesome theorizing paths for how the cat will perceive us. Hmm. <laughs> Crazy theories, you say? Yes. Sounds like something I could get on board with. <laughs> yes, you and me could probably you, talk for a few Carlin, hours. Carlin, <laughs> you, you use logic, though, from... 
the videos I watched. Yes, yes. Uh, I okay, Tucker, you're you're out of luck. Yes. <laughs> 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 there is no oh, one when you have to have logic in your theory. Yeah, well, I I use logic to a certain extent, but every now and then I will go a little crazy and be like, you know, if only this could happen here, then we could have giant, you know, metal dragons from just Dragon Age flying around. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Why not? Let's have uh, freaking golems come back. They can be the new synthetics. Why not? Let's let's think of a theory for that. But then logic has to send, of course. Thanks, Logic. You're ruined by time. All right. I uh, am continuing to update my stuff as I get back into the swing of things. Uh, put out a character video just a little bit ago. I'm going to get into more guns. And then finally, because it's asked for a lot, uh, get back into lore. At least a little bit before we get the real stuff from Andromeda. Nice. So, cool. All right. So, for those of you who've been waiting, uh, this is a joke segment that we had recorded earlier uh, with Biofan and Ability Drain, and somehow Carlin and Tucker are going to disappear, and it's going to be awkward, and I'm going to drop it right now. I wasn't allowed. No, you left. You're like, you just got up and left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so um, do you guys want to get in? We had this giveaway that you guys wanted to do. Oh, oh Jesus, God, okay. And, oh, uh, that thing. And, and then we like, <laughs> like, oh, wow. And it never happened. <laughs> so it's going to happen now. It's going to happen now. No. Right now. I get wait, ready. Right, right when now. you yell like that, I have to like pot you way down. Like like kill 70% <laughs> of your volume. It's it's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how your microphone still exists. It's almost like you destroy it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Evil love. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got 10. Um... Okay. So for the competition, we asked people to send us jokes that we would read on the podcast and judge on the podcast and then select winners to give away our t-shirts that we received extras to. Mm -hmm. So do you want to start by reading one of the top 10? Okay. So we have 10, as Biofan just said. So I'll go first. What did Shepard say to the counselor after they were rescued by Fane? It looks like you were put glasses on, saved by the drow. <laughs> That's yeah, quite I like, cheesy. I like how that but I like put, it. put glasses on became a thing. Put glasses yeah. on. And you, you just want that, yeah, music I like in the how background. that became a thing. <laughs> um, and then the next one is How did Canadians lose their rhythm? They left their cadence on Vermont by <laughs> Leslie Everett. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> That's clever. I like that one because like it has one. an extra, like, you know, biofan Andromenards twist to it. I love it. I also forgot to mention that that first <laughs> one about the drill was by Sonic Subpan24. So the second one is a joke in the form of a, a picture. So uh, we'll put it up on screen so you can see it. And that is by Julia. Okay, there it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> <See it? laughs> Wait, so the Geth it... don't have pinky toes, but the Corians do? Is that what Either the joke way, is supposed to be about? he stubbed his toe. <laughs> this, this is the point. <laughs> I, I just, like, that's adorable. Oh, I see. It? They even, like, like, pointed out the pinky toe. I never noticed that on the foot. Do you see in the top right corner? Oh, the little toe. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the that's the toe they're talking about, I guess. Yeah. That's a toe. Well, that would that's a sh that's a crap I location so. for a toe. I would hate my toe to be near my heel. Imagine the amount. Yeah, you'd keep catching it on everything. Yeah. Unless it gives an extra balance because it's quite strong or something. So if you yeah. tip back, you're not going to fall over. <laughs> it's just thoughtful. Okay. This next one is from Star Chaser Twenty Three. What did Shepard say to Garrus when her pet parrot went missing? Paragon? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Like Paragon? Paragon? Yeah. And that was by Star Chaser 23. <laughs> what do you get if you cross a mild curry with a giant intergalactic space worm? A bolty moor. And that's by Axe Blood Theory. That's clever. I, I think that's Because like a bolty is a curry and a fresher moor is a, the big worm thing. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
You call yourself a okay. fan. Terrible. No, I just like this is <laughs> this stuff's weird. You guys are well, I don't know. How weird would mine be? Probably weirder. Okay. We asked for jokes and this was the best that we got. <laughs> no, no. No, they're just like 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 really bizarre, like like I, I like it. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they're funny. It's clever. So did you know so this next one comes from Cat Gray. Did you know the Koreans are making a movie about boxing? It's called Muhammad Tally gets Get. ran knocked out. Gets ran knocked out. That's pretty clever. <laughs> that's funny. That's, that's clever. I like how Muhammad the, Tally. I like the get, number of puns we're getting. We're just <laughs> ran knocked out. <laughs> okay, ready. <clears throat> um, how does Shepard and Kasumi steal the gray box? They pie jack it. Get it? And that's from Carl from California. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> From California. <laughs> Carl from California. The bodacious oh, yeah. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's kind of long. It's from Ashley Brunzecki. I think oh, that's how you Brunsky? say her name. Brunsky? Brunzecki? One of those? A while back, I was on Tachanka in some hole in the wall bar. Literally, there was a giant hole in the wall. But the rat. Ra- ra- I can never say this word. Rincall or what? What's the like Rogan Rincall, alcohol? Yeah, whatever. Rincall, whatever. Rincall. Was good, and I saw this attractive Grogan female sitting alone. I know you can't just approach a female and ask if she wants to reproduce. You gotta compliment her first. I looked her over and noticed she was wearing this fancy blue wrap. So I grew a quad, finished my drink, and told her that's a really nice pie jack pashmina you're wearing. She rolled her set eyes and said, it's a sorry. <laughs> Pretty clever. <laughs> oh, okay, that ready? Poor, poor lady. <laughs> yeah, poor, I was talking about the poor lady is sorry who became a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Just stretched her out and wrapped her around the neck. Still alive. What do you call an insect with a weak bladder? A PB. <laughs> and that's by Jodesi Parquet. I, like I hope that I pronounced one. that correctly. I, li- I like that one. <laughs> a PB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What's the first thing a crow... <laughs> Sorry. What's the first thing a Krogan Boy Scout learns? How to tie an urge knot. <laughs> <laughs> by Lucy Hall. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite. I, think. I like that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put our heads okay, together. Minis, and come which up with the one winners. was your favorite? Oh, that's the problem is that I don't have a guide and I don't know who wrote who. What's the PB well, one? We've got, we've got it I, on a, the on PB a document. One. You can have a quick look over. Oh, I can go to. What's yeah. the P, Can I vote for the PB one? You can vote for the PB one. Sweet. Okay, and then. I really like the sunglasses one. The one with the like the Thane putting on the sunglasses. Saved by the drill. Been saved by the drill. I like that one. Um, so I'll pick that one as one of them. So that's three. We got one more. No, we need two more. Well, she. I've already picked Lucy mine. Hall, the Krogan yeah. Boy Scout. How to tie an urgent. Okay, you pick Krogan Boy Scout. We need one more. That was Tucker's pick. Um, what do you think Tucker would I- like? Oh. The Canadians losing their rhythm because they left their cadence on Vermeer. <laughs> <laughs> that one? Yeah. Maybe. Are, are, if are that's we the one you like. Go with that one? Okay. okay. So, there we go. so our winners are Sonic Subpan24, the uh, Leslie Everett, um, Joe Desi Parquet, and Lucy and Hall. And Lucy Hall. There we go. Congratulations. So we'll, we'll email you and we'll woo. get those sent out. We will get those sent out to peoples. Woo. Also, on a uh, similar note, speaking about Andromeda's t-shirts, um, we had an idea to go through this service and apparently that service is uh, not going to work. So we had to come up with a new plan. <laughs> uh, the original idea was to sell some t-shirts and then use that money to put this on iTunes. Which is like a double thumbs up. What? And uh, now we don't have a way to sell the t-shirts in a proper way. And we can't put it on iTunes. So it's like two thumbs down. Uh, We'll we'll get... Don't give this video two thumbs down. uh, That's not what he's asking. It's also impossible. Um, 
We'll figure something out. You already yeah. have one thumb. <laughs> we'll take that. Uh, we'll figure something out. Oh. If you have uh, suggestions for how to make T-shirts properly and send them out, uh, put them down in the comments section. Don't they do Look, it? What about, uh, God, what's it called? Spreadshirt? Don't they all... They, they make them and send them out for you or something? And then they take, like, a cut? I don't know. That's, yeah, we that's need kind of what we that, need. Like, we'll make them for us we, and then, like, split the profit with The us. largest mm. issue here is shipping. So, yeah. like, it, it, the shipping it, shipping is really rough. Uh, so it'd be better if we had a company that had shipping connections that could get these to you at a reasonable price. That's why, well, I mean, we'll look into it. There, there are loads of services, but it's just a case of finding one that, that that's... Uh, reasonable that don't and make crappy products yeah that that's the second part it, like if you put on a t-shirt you should not want to like immediately take it off yeah and if you wash it you don't want it falling apart <laughs> <laughs> those are two like, those are two very important factors that especially if you're wearing it outside <laughs> you don't want to flash your boobs off to everybody that's all the nerdy news we've got for today remember that every time you like and share this video garris performs an extra calibration true story Woo! Although he might, yeah. he might do that anyway. <laughs> yeah, he would do it. But regardless. he performs an extra one. So like, like on top of the like other this one. Video. Yeah. Never ending. On top of his regular calibrations, he performs an extra one for every like this video. Receives. I think one of my favorite lines of Garrus's is when he's chatting with Legion about how Legion doesn't think he can calibrate the gun any better, and then he does. That might be my favorite <laughs> Garrus line. Remember that if you have any questions for us, Mass Effect related or otherwise, feel free to email us at andromanerds at gmail.com because we read your questions on the air every week. It's true. <laughs> Along with our co-host, be sure to follow Andromanerds on Twitter. If you like this podcast and would like to see some more awesome videos, be sure to check out and subscribe to our respective channels. Bye! Johnny's so cute next to your microphone. He wouldn't let me talk. I, I would go towards the mic to talk. He started licking me. <laughs>